All right. Well, I had a question about this uh, cement battery and whether it would uh, run a, a dual thief, and it does. And that's a, a standard dual thief circuit running right there off of that. Now, this is about 24 hours old now, and uh, the voltage is down to about 1.18 uh, on the standing voltage. And I fully do expect this to go down to just about nothing. But the, the experiment really is to see if it will hold any kind of a voltage on a long term. Now, these things up here, you see there's nothing happening up there. What that is is a couple of LEDs on an AV plug. And uh, somebody asked me about magnetic field around the thing. And there's no magnetic field. But um, when I turn one of these guys on... That's a Slayer Exciter. That's my little mini Tesla coil job. But there's a whole other video on this and, and many, many, many videos on the Exciter circuits. But watch what happens here when I turn on the Slayer Exciter. There goes the Slayer Exciter. And there goes that. <laughs> now I'm going to unplug the uh, Jewel Thief part of this. And uh, I'll just show you that it uh, it acts like a receiving tower, a really, really good receiving tower for an exciter. And I thought that was very interesting that this um, cement battery would act like a receiving tower for an exciter. And those of you that have worked on the exciter projects, uh, they project a bubble of energy all around the exciter circuit. And this thing picks it up. And it does it quite nicely. So... Uh, I just thought I would share that with people that if you make one of these little uh, cement batteries, uh, you can use it as a receiving tower to light up more LEDs. And uh, like I say, that's just a couple of LEDs on what's called an Avonminkel plug. One diode goes one way, one diode goes the other way. It creates a signal coming off of the exciter that's uh, in the megahertz range and uh, creates this energy display. And so I thought that was pretty cool. So I thought I would share that with people. Alrighty, thanks for watching.